Hello and welcome to video 2 of uh, character design. I'm Tyler Eglin with 3dbus.com and in this video I'll be talking about the character's backstory. So before I ever begin any designing or sketching when it comes to um, characters that don't come with any backgrounds, like if I'm designing a character from the ground up, I like to ask myself four questions regarding the character. Number one, who is the character? Number two, how are they flawed? Number three, what is their passion? And finally, why do we care? Now, for the answer to these questions, I took some time and I just wrote them, you know, I wrote out some stuff in my notebook regarding this character I'll be designing. Um, I don't come up with the most original solution or anything like that, but for the sake of, for the sake of the tutorial, it should uh, work. So who is she? Um, it's going to be a young, naive girl from a dying settlement. It's going to be clear that she's immensely powerful and for unknown reasons. She will have the potential to save her people, but it's going to be a question of whether or not she can. So secondly, every good character, or interesting character anyway, needs, a, you know, character flaws. So uh, in this case, she's not going to understand her purpose or true capabilities. On, on top of that, she's going to be a stranger, you know, in a foreign land. So she's going to have a lot of unfamiliarity with the ways of humanity here. And it's going to be... Um, it's going to leave her emotionally shut off and untrusting. And three. Well, three is passion. Um, every character needs a driving force that uh, kind of propels them to make the decisions that they do. And so in this case, I'll just say uh, her passion is helping others. And so in a narrative setting, the drama is created when they usually lose the ability or something to... They lose their passion and they basically have to get it back. And it's usually through a few bad decisions. And so lastly, number four, why do we care? Well, I'm going to just say, let's, the Empire thinks that she's a harbinger of doom, and when she trusts the wrong characters, she is essentially imprisoned and manipulated, uh, testing the limits of her own humanity and capabilities. When she's liberated, she will uh, fear she will not come to terms with who she is or what she's capable of in time of helping her people. So I guess number four you can have as basically the premise for a story or a character arc. So in conclusion, once you know a little bit about your character, um, uh, you can kind of figure out their archetype and how they would fill, you know, more of the dramatic functions. Um, and when you know what kind of character they are, then it, it more can be revealed the more you think about them. Um, because you'll be able to gauge what type of decisions they would be able to make, and a character really comes down to, um, the, you know, the decisions that they make under stress. They're always defined by their choices.